गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर निखिल आई एम फ्रॉम वर्धमान महावीर मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड सफदरजंग हॉस्पिटल एंड दी टॉपिक फॉर माई ओरल पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन इज असेसमेंट ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा पलमनरी क्लिनिको रेडियोलॉजिकल सीक्वल इन कोविड नाइनटीन रिकवर्ड इंडिविजुअल so uh, the aim of our study was to assess the various uh, extra pulmonary clinico radiological sequelae that the covid-19 recovered individuals were presenting with and also to compare these uh, complications the incidence of these complications in mild moderate and severe cases as categorized by ministry of health and family welfare uh, coming on to the introduction covid-19 or the 2019 coronavirus disease is caused by a group of rna viruses known as the sars cov-2 on march 11 2020 the who declared covid-19 to be a global pandemic and the first laboratory verified case in india was reported in jan on jan 30th 2020 in kerala the sars cov-2 virus spreads through direct indirect or close contact with the infected person through the secretions like saliva respiratory droplets and also fomites uh, also uh, many case reports imply that airborne transmission is also possible and the virus has been proven to persist in aerosols for up to 3 hours coming on to the pathophysiology direct viral toxicity endothelial cell destruction thromboinflammation and immunological dysregulation are the main pathways that uh, play a, a role in multi organ damage and uh, for the entrance of the virus into the target cell uh, this ace2 and this transmembrane uh, protein tmp rss2 must be expressed on the cell surface covid-19 is diagnosed primarily based upon the clinical symptoms laboratory test results and radiological evaluation uh, we all know that covid-19 is most recognized for its ability to cause severe respiratory symptoms and only limited data is available on the radiological patterns of extra pulmonary complications so our study was aimed to detect these extra pulmonary issues as early as feasible using a multimodality imaging method in order to assess clinicians in planning appropriate care to prevent further progression and irreversible organ damage uh we used multimodality imaging approach uh, based on the clinical presentation of the patient so for example uh, if a covid-19 recovered individual present to us with flank pain with raised d dimer levels so suspecting a renal infarct uh, uh, we did a renal ct angiography on semen somatom definition flash uh, 256 slice machine and uh, we used non ionic uh, iodinated contrast which was given with an injector pump uh, and the dosage was approximately 1.5 ml per kg uh, through a flow rate of 5 ml per second and uh, during the arterial phase image acquisition was started with a 6 second delay and after the threshold of uh, 100 hounsfield unit uh, as the threshold of 100 hounsfield unit uh, reached uh, at the region of interest within the abdominal aorta and further we used mpr mib and uh, uh, vr methods to acquire images in axial coronal and sagittal veins um to detect uh, deep vein uh, thrombosis usg doppler was done on ge healthcare uh, usg machine using linear probe and lower limb venous uh, preset in patients who were presenting with pain and swelling of limbs and uh, raised deep dimer levels another extra pulmonary complication that we came through was uh, post covid mucormycosis so individuals with comorbidities such as diabetes mellitus or other immunocompromised states such as corticosteroid therapy uh which is uh, which was given to the patient during active illness or if the patient uh, was presenting with nasal congestion nasal discharge facial or or vital swelling so mri pns uh, with brain screening was done uh the scan was done on 3t mri ge system with the standard head coil and the acquired sequences in uh, routine protocol were t1 t2 with and without card saturations per t1 weighted post contrast images also dwi now uh, flare uh was done uh our study showed that uh, uh the uh, various extra pulmonary sequelae that we assessed uh, okay so we assessed uh, 120 patients 40 each in mild moderate and uh, severe categories and the results were that the complications were seen more in the patients uh, which had severe illness um out of the 40 patients uh, 
सिवियर टेन पेशेंट्स विथ सिवियर कोविड प्रेजेंटेड विथ डी पेन थ्रॉम्बोसिस वेर आज इन मॉडरेट कैटेगरी ओनली फाइव पेशेंट्स आर डीबीटी एंड थ्री पेशेंट्स इन माइल्ड कैटेगरी आर डी पेन थ्रॉम्बोसिस Uh, only one patient out of the forty in uh, severe category uh, presented with the renal lymph fact, and uh, none of the patient mild and moderate uh, category presented with the renal lymph fact. Similarly, uh, five patients in severe category presented with the uh, post COVID mucor mycosis, one in moderate, and none of the patient in the mild category uh, developed post COVID uh, mucor mycosis in our study. Uh, coming on to the representation of the cases, uh, first is renal lymph fact. Uh, this is an uh, actual uh, post contrast uh, C, uh, ct abdomen uh, angio phase uh, here we can see the uh, infra renal uh, abdominal aorta this is uh, sma and uh, this is the left kidney which is showing uh, normal uh, cortical enhancement whereas on the right side we can show uh, that there is no, uh, no enhancement of the anterior part of the cortex as well as of the posterior part of the cortex in upper pole the uh, anterior part and some part of the posterior cortex in at uh, interpole and at the lower pole uh, there is non enhancement of the anterior cortex uh, whereas uh, some mild enhancement is seen uh, on the posterior cortex however if we compare it from the normal side uh, the enhancement is uh, uh, less as compared to the normal side uh, uh, this area in the uh, superior lateral uh, aspect is supplied uh, is supplied by the capsular branch uh, this is the same patient again uh, axial section coronal section uh, the axial section shows that there is non enhancement of the anterior cortex whereas uh, less enhancement as compared to the normal side is seen in the posterior cortex and the these posterior segmental branches are also attenuated whereas no anterior segmental uh, branches seen here uh this is the uh, right main renal artery in the uh, coronal plane this is the uh, capsular branch that uh, was supplying the uh, superior lateral aspect in the last slide uh this part here the black arrow is actually the anterior segmental branch which is non opacified that's why uh, the anterior cortex is not opacified at upper inter or lower pole this is the posterior segmental branch here in the uh, next section we can see that the posterior segmental branch uh, is showing a filling defect here suggestive of a thrombus and that's the reason uh, why the posterior enhancement uh, in this slide it is present but it is not uh, normal it is less than that of the normal side so this is because of the thrombus in the uh, partially obstructing thrombus in the right uh, in the posterior segmental branch of the right renal artery this is again the uh, capsular branch uh the second uh, extra pulmonary complication that we came across was post covid mucor mycosis a uh, few cases of that uh this is a mri pns with the brain screening uh, of a patient uh, who had uh, uncontrolled diabetes this is a post contrast uh, t1 scan uh, axial uh, axial and the coronal uh, plane here in the uh, first image uh, we can see that there is the prominence of the retrobulbar segment of right optic nerve we can compare it with the left side which is normal uh, there is no enhancement of the optic sheath the nerve is smooth the margins are regular uh, whereas on the right side we can see that uh, uh, there is uh, the thickening of the optic sheath and there is some enhancement of the optic sheath in the second image uh, we can also see that this uh, there is some enhancing soft tissue thickening seen in the medial aspect of uh, the right orbit uh, which is also extending through the uh, ethmoid air cells this uh, soft tissue thickening is also uh, uh, involving the medial rectus uh, muscle uh, which is being showed by the green arrow uh, the muscle is also appearing to be bulky uh, and in the third image uh, we can see that the soft tissue enhancement is also seen along the right cavernous sinus uh, this uh, green arrow and uh, it is encasing the cavernous part of the uh, right ica however we can see that the flow void is uh, maintained uh, this is uh, another patient uh, with history of uncontrolled diabetes mellitus uh, showing black turbinate sign so uh, this black turbinate sign is basically seen in the uh, angio invasive uh, fungal infections like uh, mucor mycosis or aspergillosis 
basically uh, these angio invasive uh, uh, fungal infection what they do is they uh, involve the mucosa of the, uh, the nasal mucosa or the sinus mucosa and they lead to infarction of the mucosa so what happened the uh, mucosa does not enhance due to the inf- uh, infarction uh, caused by the uh, fungus so uh, in the first image uh, these all are the coronal planes uh, in the first image uh, we can see that there is non enhancing of the superior turbinate and the superior aspect of the uh, middle turbinate also there is non enhancing mucosa uh, or non enhancing uh, soft tissue component seen in the left maxillary sinus uh, this is uh, post amphotericin b therapy scan which was done uh, after 2 months uh here uh, we can see that uh, this uh, black turbinate sign is not seen here and the sinuses and the turbinate show normal enhancement also there is no uh, enhancing soft tissue density seen in the left maxillary sinus so uh, basically this black turbinate sign is not specific for mucormycosis only it can be seen in any angio invasive infection such as aspergillosis as well coming on to the third uh, extra pulmonary post covid uh, complication that we uh, came across uh, that was lower limb dvt um uh, uh, so in in these images uh, we, first is the gray scale image of right common femoral vein this is the right common femoral vein this is the common femoral artery the superficial one this is the common femoral vein and we can see some eccentric echogenic contents with it this green arrow uh some eccentric echogenic contents are seen within the uh, right common femoral uh, vein the artery shows uh, normal lumen on putting uh, color doppler uh, the artery shows normal flow here we can see and uh, the vein there is in the vein there is uh, some patchy flow which is suggestive of uh, recanalization and follow up scan in the same patient after anticoagulant therapy shows normal uh, wall to wall color flow in the uh, right common femoral vein uh, also a uh, normal wall to wall compressibility and augmentation uh, on distal compression was also seen after the course of uh, anticoagulant therapy uh, so these were the cases uh, these were some of the cases that we came across uh, reviewing the uh, previous literature about the renal complications uh, it was found that aki has been found to be an uncommon complication in patients with covid 19 and only a few cases of renal abnormalities in covid-19 individuals have been published earlier uh, and in a previous case report the patient had mild form of disease and renal findings were detected incidentally on ct representing acute renal infarct however in our study uh, only uh, uh, we came across with only one patient uh, that too in the severe category who had a renal infarct uh, about mucormycosis it is a fungal illness as we all know caused by a group of uh, molds known as muc mucormycetes it is an uncommon but severe fungal infection it is a potentially fatal illness that mostly affects immunocompromised patients such as uh, those with diabetes hematological malignancies or with history of hematopoietic stem cell transplantation and uh, history of solid organ transplantation again these patients are also on corticosteroid therapy uh, which make them uh, immunocompromised and uh, in an indian study uh, which was uh, conducted uh, by uh, joshi ar et al uh, which comprise compr- uh, comprising of 25 patients 22 patients had diabetes and two had hiv infection injectable corticosteroids were given to all the patients and in their study uh, t2 hyperintense sinus content with increased mucosal thickness enhancing soft tissue these are all the signs that were uh, seen also the black turbinate uh, sign was also demonstrated in their study uh covid-19 associated coagulopathy as in our case was seen in form of uh, lower limb uh, dvt it is linked with the hyperinflammatory and hypercoagulable state endothelial injury complement activation platelet activation platelet leukocyte interactions neutrophil extracellular traps these are all the mechanisms which lead to release of pro inflammatory cytokines and the disruption of normal coagulant pathways and are all the mechanisms of uh, thromboinflammation Uh, a single center study of uh, 163 patients have, has been done with uh, without post uh, discharge thrombo profile excess and they found that uh, 2.5% uh, incidence of thrombosis after 30 days of discharge uh, so uh, our study was a prospective observation study which was performed on a sample size of 120 patients uh, including uh, 
40 patients in each mild, moderate and severe categories which underwent uh, various imaging investigation according to the presenting complaints. Renal angiography was performed in patients who had flank pain and elevated D-dimer levels. Individuals with the comorbidities such as diabetes or other immunocompromised states like uh, corticosteroid medication, uh, they underwent MRI PNS with uh, brain screening. And individuals experiencing pain and swelling in their limbs as well as the elevated D-dimer levels underwent UC Doppler. Uh, various extrapulmonary clinical radiological sequel, as we discussed, uh, they were assessed and the incidence of the sequel in patients recovered with mild, moderate and severe disease was evaluated. And as we uh, found out uh, that the incidence of these extrapulmonary complications was highest uh, in the uh, severe category patients. Uh, thank you.